Hi, Dr. Joe here to tell you a little bit about a new society. It's called the Nitric Oxide Society. Why should I be surprised? Because there's 91,000 plus papers on nitric oxide and what it does for all sorts of things, including vascular disease. So it seems to have its own society now, and that's really appropriate. This time, nitric oxide in major depression was this article. It's a major uh, breakthrough in terms of what I think of it because it points out when major pharmaco-resistant depression occurs, it's very hard to break. And that they postulate that a lot of medications should be made available that involve nitric oxide or at least add in a nitric oxide donor to help the resistance break. It's quite a free and easy uh, approach to this. Uh, very interesting and probably very logical. So as we go through a variety of other things to think about, we'll be talking about other things that are very new for nitric oxide, but very important. And if you've got something like that, you really ought to know about it.